Hello you! So if I were a beginner at makeup, then these are the five products that I would get for myself and these are the five that I would recommend for anybody who is just a starter, who hasn't yet explored the beautiful world of makeup and somebody who just wants to venture in a little bit and test out the waters if you will. So let's get into the video. I always like to do my face makeup first so for face I would say if you're just getting into it then you can get like a tinted moisturizer or something like a foundation serum these are very lightweight and some of them also come with SPF for example this L'Oreal one has SPF this Neutrogena one is actually it has some skincare benefits in there or if you don't want to get into the tinted moisturizing a routine you can just get a concealer now i especially really like using just the concealer for the face because one you don't have to worry about the expiration date like most of my foundations i have to use up or throw away waste a lot of products because there's no way you're able to use everything up in the right time before it expires so concealer because it's not that much amount it's easier for you to use all of it up so the one i have is kosas if you're looking for a more affordable concealer the maybelline fit me is a great option they have a lot of shades in there to choose from so you can just do that and also the good thing about concealer is you can just use it on areas that you want to cover up without over powering your face and you can use a beauty blender or just use a brush and kind of just go over your problem areas and also at this technique you don't need to worry about your makeup looking cakey because you're not using that much product of course do not kick up your concealer concealers are not meant to be worn like your foundations right that's why they come in a smaller jar, tube, jar, whatever. <laughs> Second thing that you need is a powder, a setting powder. Now this is a great affordable option. It's actually comparable to high-end powders. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. You want to take your brush, swirl it around a little bit, tap off the excess, and just kind of set everything up your loose powder just make sure you bring everything down towards your neck now I'm not doing that because I'm sitting at home 10 p.m. and I can be bothered <laughs> but there you go you just gonna take a big fluffy brush and kind of set everything up with that loose powder if you're looking for an affordable powder i don't think you can get better than this one so next up you have to do the brows if you do nothing else do the brows all right <laughs> so uh, a tinted brow gel is a great option for someone who is just getting started this one is by elf it is their wow brow tinted brow gel it is just so easy kind of just brushes your brows and at the same time it gives it a little bit of a tint there you go see the difference this just kind of lifted up my whole face right a another one that i really like is also by elf the instant lift brow pencil i got it in the shade the shade what's the shade what's the shade does it say does it say does it say Two thousand years later. I got it in the shade Deep Brown. I have black brows, but I prefer going a shade lighter. Only this much is left because I have used all of this up. This is a very good one. So it really depends on you what you prefer. You can get the tinted brow gel or you can get something like this a liner I personally like both of them tip is to always go a shade lighter than your natural brow color just so you avoid the harshness of like very overdone brows and then you can just go in with the spoolie side of it and kind of brush everything out to make it look even 
more natural. But you can be the judge of it which side do you prefer, the brow gel or the brow pencil. Now for the fourth product, I absolutely love something like this. Now this, I haven't used this before but this is like a uh, lip and cheek tint and we are in luck because lip and cheek tints are really just making a comeback people are absolutely loving these products so this one is by Just Herbs it's in the shade Pale Pink and yes and I hate to put my finger in there and ruin this so the beauty of a product like this is that you can use it as your lip balm and you can also use it as a blush. So you can obviously get more shades. This is the one that I have and it looks really nice as a blush too. You can just use your fingers to just get that nice glow on your face. This is a very nice natural gonna go for a lot of different skin tones so this says that it can also be used on your eyelid so you can also just use the same tint a little bit on your eyes just to give it a nice flush of color just like that a fuss free blended out one product three ways you can use it blush lipstick eyes of course this is a very natural one so if you are looking for something that is a little more like out there you can get a different shade and there are so many lip and cheek tints to try from so you can definitely look into that but this is a great option that you can double down on when you are just getting started with makeup another thing that you can do for your lips is just get a nice pretty shade of a lip balm wait you can get a lip balm of your choice, like this is the one that I have, a baby lips, and you can definitely use this as your blush and as your lipstick. Like I'm gonna do right now. Use this as a lipstick. And then you can use the same balm on your cheeks for that pretty flush of color. So this is especially good if you have a dry skin because if you use something like that, your skin is always going to be nice and glowy and just looking very healthy like mine is right now. So finally, you have to get in a mascara. It's really just going to lift your lashes up, make you look put together a lot better. Now, I am not going to use this right now because my eye is still infected. I don't know how much longer I have to wait. It's been a year. It's crazy, okay? But yeah, there are so many affordable mascaras to choose from you definitely don't need to go high-end when it comes to mascaras this one by elf is a great one this is the uh, lash and roll mascara there is another one by essence which is a really famous and a very good one highly recommend that and uh, there is one by l'oreal i think the telescopic one which is also really good all drugstore brands so remember you have to change your mascara every three months nobody does that though they see that but who does, who does who, who changes their mascara every three months i've never done that i use it for at least a year but i'm not gonna recommend my eye is infected so i'm the last person to talk about this but for sure six months you can use your mascara so remember you have to keep changing it up a little bit but yeah the mascara is going to make a world of a difference on your lashes and your entire look so that is what I'm going to do if I were to get started with makeup. You've addressed your face, you've addressed your lashes, you've addressed your brows, you've addressed your lip, cheek, and eyes with one thing. I've given you so many different options to choose from, of course. I think it's different for everybody, but these are the basics that I would get for myself. Not looking too crazy, made up but also looking put together and I hope you can see the difference because I, I, I use my phone to record videos. I don't have a vlogging camera, but that is it for this video. What do you think of my braids, by the way? 
So that's it for this video. Do let me know what you think of my five product recommendations and if you would add something different or you would go for something different when it comes to your beginner makeup kit. Do let me know. Comment down below. I'd love to hear and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Stay classy. Bye.